Angel Talia, Chapter 11 Pondering for Protection A month has passed and the police station was packed with police officers and suspects taken from one place to another. There was also men working hard on cases that have yet to been cracked. Alfred had a lot on his mind recently. The attacks on Maddie's girlfriend on two occasions, his father's safety, and his friend called Ella and Leanne. Oh, and the strange skin condition he's got from healing people. Alfred, what are you thinking about? Matthew asked him. Alfred turns to him. What's that guy's deal? Alfred replies. He's caused a lot of trouble regarding of your partner. Father told me the same guy was suspected about him, and he nearly cut Sarah's arm off. Why would he do something like that? Matthew thinks about his theory. Did that being know anything about your identity or father's? I mean, does he know you both have wings? Hopefully, that secret is still safe. Hopefully, that secret is still safe. You, father, and I are the only ones who know of my secret identity. Alpha responds. Indeed. Matthew agrees. Suddenly, a silver-haired policeman called Gilbert walks over to Matthew with a grin. Hey, Matthew, how's it going? He belts out, making Alfred and Matthew's eyebrows frown in annoyance. Don't use that nickname, you moron. Matthew spoke through his teeth. <laughs> hey, what's with the attitude, Matthew? The man then sees Alfred and looks confused. Who's this guy? Is he your sidekick? He asked. Alfred pouted. No, I'm his brother and partner. Alfred Kirkland. I'm helping him on his case here at NYPD, he explains. Gilbert stares at Alfred. Ah, <laughs> he's cute, he giggled. Matthew smacks Gilbert upside the head. Don't say things like that to my brother, you stupid pillock. Matthew shouts, making Alfred chuckled. <laughs> That's why you don't mess with my brother. What do you Someone calls out, making Gilbert and Matthew stand up straight. It was the chief of police himself, Ivan Virginsky, a tall man with purple eyes, a tall man with purple eyes and silver cream hair. Don't be fooled by his charm. He can be scary from what he says it's best to stay on his good side. Now, what are you two doing fighting like a pair of schoolboys? Gilbert feels a sweat drop roll down his forehead. Matthew bows to him. I'm sorry, sir. We won't do that again. He stuttered nervously. Ivan looks over at Alfred. Were you involved in this at all, Mr. Kirkland? He asked him. No, that, that, that words. No, sir, not in the physical part anyway. Alfred replies in a calm tone. He's not scared of the chief of police. Okay then. No, listen to me, you two. If I see you squabble like this again, you will have to be put in the filing department to spend hours filing paperwork. Understand? 
Gilbert and Matthew nodded in unison. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They responded at the same time. Yvonne smiles. Good. Have a nice day, gentlemen. He walks away. Jeez, what's that guy's deal? Gilbert complains in guilt. Alfred shakes his head. Don't worry, dude. He's always like that. I just get used to it and be calm about it. He responds. Ugh. I'm out of here. Gilbert walked away. I swear he's getting even more nuts every time he sees me. Matthew grits through his teeth. Is he a friend of yours? Alfred asked. Matthew sighed. <sighs> my old partner, but I guess you could call him my friend. But since you joined the team, he's been jealous. And please forget the cute part. His tone turned to annoyance. Uh, it's alright, bro. Don't worry about it. Alfred responds calmly, making Matthew feel better. Ella visits Arthur's home and gives him an envelope. Hmm? So suave. He feels the letter. It's an invitation to a winter I hope it's one of the grandest balls in the country. Ella smiles, holding his hand. A winter ball? He asked. Yep. It's all beautiful and everything. I think it will be amazing. Ella responds cheerfully. Arthur couldn't help but smile. It sounds amazing. Meanwhile, Leanne and Sarah read through the invitations. Sounds amazing. We should all go. Me and Maddie, um, me and Maddie, and perhaps you and Alfred. Sarah giggled making Leanne look up confused. But Sarah want to be his girlfriend or anything, she stated. You don't have to be silly. You two can get to know each other while you're there, you know? She smiles at Leanne. Sarah, I don't have anything to wear. Leanne responds in a low tone. Sarah shook her head. <laughs> no problem, come on! Sarah takes Leanne's hand and takes her to her room. Ah. Alfred, if we are going to the ball, we need to keep an eye on the girls at all times. Matthew explains. Alfred understood. Yeah, we should. I'll do my best, even for Leanne. He smiles. Matthew raises a brow. You like her, don't you? Alfred looks shocked and looks away in embarrassment. <sighs> Come on, Al, don't hide it. You have feelings for her, don't you? Matthew teased. Alfred tried to hide his blush. <laughs> Me and Leanne are just friends, that's all! Alfred panicked. <laughs> Idiot. You're all silly at times. <laughs> he chuckled, making Alfred whack his brother in the back as they walked home. To be continued.
Let's try narrator. Leanne and Sarah read through their investigations. Investigations? Invitations? Invitations. Wow! Redo! I can't read! <laughs> it's alright. Lurry. Leon. He blurts out. Blurts? Matthew's. <laughs> Matthew thinks about the. I lost track where I was reading. Oh my god. Okay, found it. Hopefully, that secret is still safe. <laughs> I just want to get, get. No, I can do this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, someone came in my room, so I had to mute the mic for a second. I didn't know it was me. My stomach okay. just growled. Uh, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a burp! That wasn't me. That wasn't me. Wasn't me. Um, oh redo the last line then. <laughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> oh, whoa! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Who's burping now? Hey. Be a bear kid.